we'll get to the point when Kev first brought up Sheila. Uh, we were watching a Raptors game and he tells me he's met some drop dead gorgeous girl from work. I said, oh really? Shows me a picture of her. And I thought that she was like way, way out of his league. He goes, I'm gonna marry this girl. And he said that when we were watching the Raptors game. We all laughed because we thought like, dude, she probably doesn't even know your name. From the day Sheila was born, there have been so many surprises. She's always been very social. Sheila, watching you chase your goals and pursue your dream job has been inspiring and, and makes us proud. Sheila, you're an example of ambition, beauty, and grace. And I'm so proud and lucky to be your sister and friend. Kev's always down to get together for a couple of drinks and watch a baseball game or a hockey game, but it is a pain listening to him talk about his shitty Oilers. Kevin is very brave. It takes a lot of courage to ask out one of your coworkers on a date. Thank you for settling for Kev. You're way out of his league, Sheila. Don't act shocked, you are. Kevin, we hope that Sheila makes you as happy as, as you have made her. Marjorie and I are very happy to officially welcome you to our growing clan. Welcome to the family, Kevin. But here we are today, and like who would have thought that this guy would marry this beautiful woman? What a day. <laughs> um, from the moment I uh, turned around on that bridge, I was pretty speechless earlier today. Well, after we first met, a few months went by, and we talked on and off, and then Kevin asked me on a date or two, and I politely said, oh, maybe some other time. <laughs> but then I had this deep feeling in myself that I was like, wait, I'm actually probably missing out on my, my future husband right now. And so I agreed to go on what turned out to be the best date of my life, and we just clicked. Thank you for accepting that coffee. <laughs> I was working like a madman, doubles every day, and uh, it wasn't until I met you that I decided to slow my life down and make time for others and make time for myself, really. And um, you know, you've truly been an inspiration in my life, like it's been touched on by everybody tonight. <laughs> I just can't thank you enough from the early times we met in Woodstock. From concerts to beach days and theme parks and adventures traveling, like from driving from Arizona back to Ontario in March of 2020. <laughs> 31 hours in the car, but I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else by my side. It's been an honor to do this with you and I can't wait to do the rest of it with you by my side, so thank you. I look forward to many years of fun and travel and adventures with you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs>